Okay, hi again everybody! Welcome back to the channel. I am Vorbithrax, and we're gonna play some more Cataclysm Dark Days ahead. Cause it is Monday! Monday, Cataclysm Day! Um, yeah, so, Basil Steel, our novice Technomancer. Um, I'm not sure how much longer this one's gonna go. Maybe tonight, maybe Wednesday at the latest. I'm not sure, I don't, I still don't have an endpoint picked out for this. Uh, we haven't still done as much magic as I would like, so we're still on the hunt for some magic, and we're going to keep training up some of that. Uh, see how effective we can make it. So, I don't often tool around with endgame stuff too much, but um, I kind of get bored pretty quickly when I get to the endgame stages. Because um, it's all samey-samey, basically. So, we'll we'll see how much longer we take this one. Um, but yeah, we're doing the... Um, my night bot links are blocked. <laughs> How are my night bot links blocked? What do you mean by blocked? I'm seeing them on my screen. But what is your night bot links are blocked? <laughs> Guess I'll find out. Um so yeah, Basil Steel, novice technomancer, so jutsu techno specialists. Um, what we're going to do, let's see, what we talk about. So on Wednesday, we were, uh, or on Friday, I mean, when we left off, we had just rolled up to this lab, just started kind of poking around in it, and uh, we ran over to the tower here to get the big map view, so we know what's in our local area. We got a hazardous waste sarcophagus we can go get an ID card from, we got another lab down here, and a couple little tiny towns with not a lot of book opportunities. We've got a uh, regional school, and we do have a military outpost we haven't poked at yet. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, we got a few options, but we're going to raid the lab again. Should be pretty quick work. We're, we're, we're able to move through them fairly fast now, so we'll see what kind of advantages we get out of it. Um, yeah, our vehicle is still our perfect vehicle. It's pretty much my end, going, end game wished for vehicle. Nothing else I can really do to it or for it. Um, maintaining in perfect shape as it usually is. So here's our gear. Uh, it's mostly light survivor gear. We, we got high dodge and um, we're rolling around in light survivor gear. Using an FN foul for our main weapon. We do have uh, the high tech riv tech stuff. Um, but the foul's working perfectly fine. It's doing everything I needed to do quickly enough, and um, I got tons of ammo for it. So until we accumulate some more RivTech ammo, I think I'll just stick with the foul. Um, other than that, it's just, I mean, Kevlar vest and light survivor gear with a few add-ons here and there. Um, so nothing too exotic. But we're pretty much geared up for just popping back into the lab, so I think we're just going to do that right off. I'm not going to cover too much other stuff. I mean, we, we've got... We got, we got stuff. I mean, we, we got lots of stuff. What are we on? Day 40? Day 39? Day 40? So, we don't have much left to accomplish skill-wise either. A um, couple levels of fab will pretty much max us out if I ever find the books that'll let me make better spears. Uh, we've been tooling around with our steel spear for a while. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. Uh, there's not really not much else to accomplish. We can craft just about everything. I can't think of any books I'm missing except for those, those books that give me access to the uh, medieval or Japanese weaponry and armor. Um, yeah, so I haven't seen a mansion in forever. I, I know they've been fiddling with mansions and they did lessen the number, but I can't remember the last time I actually encountered a mansion. It's been a couple of challenges at least since I last saw a mansion. We haven't seen one on this map anywhere, so... We've done a little bit of traveling, and there's been uh, no sign of a mansion anywhere. So, I, I don't know. I <laughs> I don't know if mansions just got fiddled with too much, and they've been removed accidentally, or, or what's going on with them. But, um, haven't seen any. A viable is magic for fighting zombos? Uh, it it kind of depends. Um, my problem is... I don't know. I, I got some balance problems. Not so much criticisms of the mod as just I know the basic gameplay the normal gameplay so well and can level myself to end game so quickly that the time it takes to do the magic stuff it's so long comparatively that I can't remotely be as effective at that as as quickly as I can just doing my normal stuff so I have this weird situation where I can't seem to balance my learning of the magic stuff with my normal processes that I go through when I'm playing the game and try to survive on my my normal world and difficulty settings. Um, 
Part of that's down to just my challenges. I mean, I, I'm at the end game within a couple of weeks of game time usually. So my, my game time is compressed in such a way. It's so short, quote unquote, or so concentrated um, because of my knowledge of the game that I don't really have time to let <laughs> anything else kind of accumulate or breathe. And um, the long learning times for the spells just kind of takes me out of being able to use those effectively. Um, so that, that's a me problem. That's that's not a general problem, I don't think. And especially for players that are playing longer term characters where they play through multiple seasons or even a year or two of gameplay. Um, it's a totally different situation. So don't take my personal experience or thoughts on it as, uh, as gospel or, or, or the way it is. Just my personal experience. So... Yeah, that's kind of the way I keep running into it, unfortunately. Um, do, do, do. The other part of the problem I have with the magic stuff is it's so random. Uh, I mean, you're at the mercy of the random gen on what books you actually get, assuming you come across any, and you've got to stay alive while you travel around to the few locations or a few places that have the books. In order to survive that, you've got to progress through the normal gameplay stuff so i got to it's just, it's just this weird balance thing that i have issues with i guess um with trying to make the magic effective i mean even now we're, we're day 40 we're rolling around in end game everything weapons armor vehicle and so on and i i i've been really really hard pressed to come across any of the books i wanted to do technomancer stuff but we can't find any technomancer books i think we got in one beyond the starting one we we had so yeah, it's it's just this weird kind of I don't know balance stuff. But however, um, so yeah, so we're full strength. We are uh, imperceptive healer. If uh, you hadn't seen this character before, so that's one of the major negatives. Um, we're locked into three out of the four classes. Which which one am I missing? Um, we have not yet committed because I don't have any spells to learn for it. For gun animist. Is it um, Biomancer Druid? Yeah, Biomancer. I haven't found any Biomancer. Biomancer is what I'd rather do instead of Druid. Um, but we haven't found any, any books that I want to read for that. So, however. All right. So we're going to just tool through this lab real quick. We've uh, seen the local area. We've got a few options. Labs currently are still one of the better places for me to try to pick up the stuff I am missing. Um, and our capabilities to move through it are pretty good. So we can uh, kind of take advantage of that. So let me make sure I've got everything I need. We've got a uh, weapon, a little bit of ammo for reload, our tools, our pickaxe. Don't really need binos while we're here. Um, got food. Don't need the map either. Ditch that out here. All right, so yeah, I don't know what my sleep cycle is, but let's uh, let's just pop inside. Of course, go with the goggles. So so valuable the goggles. And I believe I've just trying to remember what we did on Friday. I think all we did was we poked at these starter rooms right here, and it was like six six bedrooms if I remember right. <laughs> There was, what, one turret right here that we we popped. Alright, and I don't believe I went any further than that. After we saw that, I went back. Yeah, we didn't go anywhere. Uh, we went upstairs and we went and checked out the radio tower because I wanted to know what the local area looked like. Alright, so we've already popped that north door. I guess we'll go north. So, conveyor room, uh, stairs down, I am, apparently we did look up here. Ah, still part of the same room. Yeah, we did look up here. Alright, don't care, don't care. Yeah, I know you're up there being noisy. None of this is useful. Alright, now I think we've seen it all. I'm going to go straight downstairs. We're going to dive bomb to the bottom, see how deep this is. All right, peek. Nothing dangerous. Down we go. Thermal dissipation. We'll take that. Now, for some reason, I've decided to go into the uh, 
Strange temple, we could. Can't think of why I would. Alright, uh, can't go north. Let's keep going. Let's assume we're on the north wall. Let's keep going east until we check all of those. Oh, another stair down. What do we got? Lab Journal Smythe. Chromium. Another hot plate. Teleporting survivor. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's unload our headlamp, dump our headlamp, and wear the new headlamp, and reload the head. All right, can we go east again? I guess we can. We still can't. Oh wait, nope. We're going straight down. Don't care about standpipe. <laughs> All right, mutagen samples. Codeine's good, and we're already overweight. Hmm. Yes, I am. Carrying a lot of, a lot of gear nowadays. Exterior doors, no exterior doors. Hmm. Meaning, no way to go. <laughs> All right. In the south. All right. Might be the uh, a lot of shooting. That might be the finale room. Give any amount of shooting that's going on. Usually it doesn't have that much shooting in a single turret room. So, plus the fact that we're not seeing any other stairs down and there's not too many exterior walls. Leaves me to believe... Oh, never mind. <laughs> there's stairs down. Ignore everything I was just saying. You know, like usual. Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess I probably should. Just in case we have an oopsie with a uh, turret. A few extra movement points to get away would be valuable. Alright, it's level four. Room, dissector room, nothing room, and goo room. Another bedroom. I 
Alright, no turrets. And north and west are early options. So let's go north. Alright, this is one of the potentially dangerous spots. Right here can sometimes have a turret. Not this time. And we got another vault. Bionic vault. <laughs> Either antlered horror. Ah, another stair down. All right. No turrets again. And no way out. <laughs> it's a 3x3 three three grid with no exit, no exit, no exit, no exit. <coughs> oh. So, <laughs> that wasn't too useful. We're going to have some separated areas. I think the next one is definitely the finale floor. I don't usually see these separated areas. I, I do see them, but most commonly when I see them, it's the, uh, the bottom floor. Fire to the west. Alright, so I've got not too many choices again. Stupid mouse pointer, what is with you? Yeah, I know, but I don't care about the accuracy. <laughs> All I care about is the movement. 99.9% .9 of the value of that spell is the bonus movement points for me. Nice having the Eden boost for other reasons, but um, yeah, I, I know the dex benefits. I just don't fight all that much. And right now the fighting is either I destroy it easily or I get a gun out and shoot it <laughs> and destroy it easily. So... The benefits of the uh, dex enhancement are fairly negligible. Hello, Mr. Turret. A door? There is a door. Um, there is no light. It is very dark. Get the foul out. Oh, come on now. <laughs> I know I got a lot of ammo, but... Sure looked like I saw a bullet, <laughs> a round of ammo come through the wall there. <laughs> Could have swore I saw the the little graphic of the uh, the ammo coming through. All right, still very dark. Nothing there. Way to go anywhere but north and south. Ah, we got a subway connection. Hey there, subway tunnel. Sure, let's hack this. Uh, subway route, please. That lead down to that. That's that other lab I already knew about. And then another one up here, huh? 
Alright. That's kind of a weird location off to the side like that. But that's where the subway is. The lab itself could be like anywhere up here. Because the lab can spread out a bit. So, lab somewhere along this road line. And the one I'm in now, and then the other one's right there. So, we already got an easy connection down to that one. Alright, don't care about the tunnel right now. Another one of you guys, huh? Stairs up and stairs down. Well, another one of these. Lovely. That's not good. <laughs> Power armor interface CBM in the fire area. Uh, uh, here we go with the super temperature I have to keep track of again. Last time we had this, it was not good. Let's go to run mode. Overburdened pain temperature is currently fine. Where we get poisoned. Nope, he can't see. Nope, he can't see me. Now he can't see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hmm, hope that's not the only way down onto that floor. That would suck. Getting cut off from the uh, finale due to the fire. not looking good I I don't have too many other places I can go <laughs> I think we're actually done except for this one room in the middle so far there's only that one route down and I think I'm cut off <coughs> yeah I don't have uh, I don't have any I got like one power storage a single hundred point power storage and that's it <laughs> and we have also got some lovely lovely fungus so I got fungus here, and then I've got uh, I got a raging firestorm a level below. Isn't that special? That <laughs> brown chick. And we got one more stair right here. Hmm. This will probably, if I had to guess, this is gonna drop me right into the finale room. What do you think? Yep, right into the finale room. <laughs> right into the lit finale room. Oh, man. Hmm, pure fire serum. Hmm, right, so this is a mutation kind of heavy specific finale, so I actually don't care. I'm not planning on doing uh, any uh, mutation stuff on this run, so this really holds no value for me. 
lit is the fact that there's a light <laughs> right here. Might be the only light, might be more lights, and uh, if, if there are security bots rolling around, as soon as they can spot me, they'll shoot me to death. But it's the finale room because of this right here. This is the final reward room, essentially, for this lab. It's the bottom floor special reward room, but it's also the most dangerous. There are usually robots trundling around out here, in addition to the security guard. I just happen to not be in sight of any currently. And uh, right here in the middle is a big vat of some kind of mutagen, which uh, for me has no value. And then there's usually mutagen supplies and books up here of various types. But um, yeah, this, this holds no, no value for me since I'm not doing mutagens this run. This was the other disconnected section we couldn't get out of earlier. And then this is that fire section we just saw. I don't think there's a way out of there either. So, basically, pretty useless for me. <clears throat> yeah, I am not moving from this spot. Currently, I'm peeking down the stairs. I'm not actually all the way down the stairs. I'm just peeking. So, as soon as I hit escape, I'll pop back upstairs. If I actually walk down the stairs and then try to smash the light, there's a chance I could look around, but it's danger that I don't need to take because there's no benefit to me coming down here. So, there's no reason for me to put myself at risk. Because it could be that there is a security bot sitting right here, just north of me, that just out of sight. And as soon as I step to this position, I could get shot to death. So, too much danger. Danger for no, no reward I'm actually going to use. So, we're just going to cancel that. And we're already done with this floor, too. Um, I have no use for the, uh, for, for the uh, railroad station. There's no, no vaults in this floor that I mark. So, there's no reason to stay here. So we're, we're just going to bop up out of here as well. Uh, let's go up. Yeah, this way. So two floors done. Excited. <laughs> All right. I haven't gone here yet, so I better... Occasionally these types of rooms will have, uh, have bots also. But as long as there's no light, I'm not in too much danger. Ah, UPS. I don't have a use for UPS. Don't care about the analysis kit because I'm, again, not doing uh, CBM or not doing uh, mutation stuff, so I don't need the tools to craft mutagens. Good to see it appearing in regular labs, though. All right, where were we elsewhere on this floor? So we're up there. All right, let's go directly away. This is floor three? Yep, yeah, floor three. So, <clears throat> what am I trying to find? Barracks, libraries, auto dock. For some reason, those seem to be rarer lately than I've I've experienced before. Could just be the randomization playing with me, but it just seems a little weird lately what I've seen. What do we got? Prisoner containment. I really don't want a prisoner containment. Where are you at? No scientists? I really don't want the prisoner containment if there's no scientists in the front. Don't need an inhaler. Yeah, we're we're done in here. Alright, so looks like south wall on the southern border. So we'll follow this edge. Alright, that's the shock zombie. <laughs> this time I'm not gonna do it. We're not going in there this time. Let's try to maintain my health for at least a few minutes. Hey there, Kevlar zombie. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't really need duct tape anymore either. But let's see. Let's do this. Let's 
Small chance of being books on these tables, but probably not worth the, uh, the amount of time to even look. So no way west, no way east. Containment room. Who are we containing? Brawler, nobody in the middle? Yet another UPS. That might be another endpoint north of me there. Poison cloud. A loose grappler. He's gonna pull me in as soon as he moves out. <laughs> Is there somebody in here? I just can't see him. Oh, there's a night stalker in there. <laughs> Trixie! Trixie! <laughs> There's a Night Stalker in this thing. Let's take a look at the Night Stalker. Let's put a light on. Hey there, Night Stalker! <laughs> <coughs> I was wondering. Usually there's somebody in there. You enjoy your, uh, your time inside containment there. <laughs> Let's we'll avoid that. Oh, do we a grappler. Whoa! Well, there's a little bit of damage. Wasn't expecting a spitter zombie to show up. Ah, shady zombies bugging me. Um, Shady Zombie, you are in exactly the wrong place at exactly the right time. He's going to throw off my trying to shoot the, uh, the Spitter Zombie. So that's kind of annoying. Because I can't shoot him unless he's adjacent to me. I need to melee him. And then shoot the others. Mostly just the uh, spitter zombie. Really? Two shots for a lowly spitter zombie? Now an acid zombie, too? So much acid! <laughs> so the spitter zombie's acid killed the other zombies that were standing in it. That's always fun. Alright, we'll let them sit for a sec. I guess we'll go ahead and uh, pull him out. Grab the codeine and the multivitamins. Why don't you just stand there in the acid while I... Hey, now the acid disappears. <laughs> Dang it. I was going to just dodge while he uh, burned to death in the acid. Oh, uh, well. Steel spear time. Yeah, I know. I know my stamina. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid um, resting because it takes so long, and my uh, my spell goes away. <laughs> Another headlamp. So many headlamps. Ah, no way ye west. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to now. Oops. Bucket. Little concerned he oh, my speed just returned to normal. Alright, no no turret waiting for me. Mm 
I have to go back and get some more ammo. Didn't bring enough ammo, apparently. I don't want an electromagnet unit. Where are the shots coming from? South of me? Way south of me. Alright. <laughs> a lot of switches. There's a lot of shooting going on. Trying to figure out what it could be shooting that much. <coughs> Blobs? Blobs or fungus? The only thing I could think of. comes the bongo drums again. Not the book I was hoping for. Alright, so we've hooked up with the other section. There were no doors all the way around. Uh, that might be the last last two rooms right here other than the uh, vaults that we found. I don't light, or I don't like the light not shining. turrets it depends it's it really depends on your circumstances there are many ways to do it it just depends on what you've got access to you can even just throw things at them i mean you can pick up chunks of steel and throw chunks of steel at the space where you know the turrets at to blow it up so there's too many variations i mean are we talking about turrets with light ambient light in the area without light in the area do you have a vision advantage? Do you not have a vision advantage? Can you make grenades? Can you not make grenades? Do you have cardboard boxes? There's so many ways. 
The only real danger from turrets, once you're familiar with the game and with how labs are set up, is there's about three locations on the maps where they can put a turret out in the corridors. Otherwise, all the turrets are in very, very known, predictable places that are very easy to avoid. And once you recognize the map and you know where there's a possibility of a turret showing up, like that, <laughs> it really, really cuts down on the, uh, the danger level. Um, we're about to leave this floor for the last time anyway. Well, what the hell was this turret shooting though? It was just shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting. I, there's nothing even in here. <laughs> I, I don't know what it was shooting. It's an empty room. No corpses. No, no nothing. So I don't know. And that's it for this floor as well, except for the vaults. So we'll go around this turret. We have no need to uh, do anything to it. That's a mutagen turret or mutagen vault. I don't care about that. I think that was spiders in there, if I remember right. It's dead spider outside. <coughs> um, which were they? Both mutagen vaults. Again, I don't care about mutagen vaults, so we're, we're out of here too. All right, floor two. <laughs> How many standpipe maintenance logs are you guys going to try to give me? Don't want it. All right, so we're already connected to the other section we had explored. No way north. Let's go back to this one uh, and keep going east. Hmm. The other trick to labs is just light management. <clears throat> light is your enemy. You want controlled light in wherever your base is going to be, wherever, wherever you're going to. Yeah, wherever you're going to set up your camp. But everywhere else, light is your enemy. Always assume you're about to get shot to death if there's light. <laughs> so, this is one of those rooms where sometimes there's a turret in it. <laughs> These are just a uh, refrigerator and bathroom. Not going there yet. Don't care about that room. Ah, uh, Bionic Vault. Alright, so that's one we might break into. For another prisoner containment. Dang it. Ah, I failed. <laughs> uh, eight computer skill. Well, that's not worth breaking into. Not worth the time and the effort. The only thing I would get in there is a chance for a, a scientist zombie that might, might drop a book or a CBM or something. Oh, and of course. More fungus. Crappity crap crap. Arrgh. 